Who's that knocking on my door at such an hour? Mm, it would be a good answer for this. Mm, where's my gun? Ah, oh, there's my shoddy. <laughs> mm, let me open the door to see the idiot on the other side. Hello, boy. <laughs> what do you want? I bet it's my daughter. Hmm? You thirsty little shpip. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, yes, she is at home at present. One little problem, though. Well, a problem for you is that her father, that would be me, he says that she's not taking any visitors, especially from you, son. Mm -hmm. She's my little girl. Who are you, anyway? Have the common courtesy to introduce yourself, boy. Oh, hi, my name's Chuck, sir. <sighs> How can I take you seriously, you little tbip? <sighs> my daughter is not taking visitors at this time. And quite frankly, looking at you, I prefer that you do not come back to the house again. By that, I mean ever don't even walk down my street ever again if you see us at the mall turn around and walk in the opposite direction in fact i'll give you one chance just one to leave my daughter alone all together consider this a polite warning from me her daddy, to you, no one. Is this clear, Chuck? Great. Glad we could talk. Great chat. All right. Good night, buddy. Have a lovely walk home. Stay safe now. Oh, what on earth is going on here? Who was that clown and what's he doing so brazenly knocking on my door? Hmm, clearly I need to talk to my princess. I must have given her too much freedom. Pumpkin! Daddy and his little girl need to talk. Immediately. Yes, hang up the phone and come into the lounge room. Hmm. Princess, we need to talk about a few things. And just to... Reinforce some boundaries for you. Come sit in Daddy's lap. Good girl. First thing that Daddy needs to talk about is the topic of boys. I know too well that you're blossoming into a beautiful woman like a butterfly escaping its cocoon. This is nature and it's a beautiful thing. But... As with any changes come challenges and unforeseen issues, problems. However, you need to keep your standards and you need to understand how to attract the right kind of man into your life. Not to go for the flashy guy who makes you feel good but is actually a deadbeat and just a ladies man. You see... What prompted our daddy daughter talk today was this scruffy looking snotty nosed little punk kid just showed up at daddy's door. Daddy got his gun. Daddy was a little angry. This boy was a loser. A drop kick. A deadbeat. There is no place for this kind of boy in daddy's daughter's life. No place, no need for him, no need for any other boy like him. Mm. So it has become clear to Daddy that he needs to protect his little girl from such wastes of time, <sighs> such bad influences. So I've thought through what I need to do in this situation and... I have decided to take some firm but 
necessary measures. Hmm. Hmm, where to start? Well, firstly, from now on, no boys are allowed to talk to you at all. Now, I realize this will need to change at some stage, but right now, it's exactly what the doctor ordered, <laughs> the doctor being daddy. I will change my mind when the time is right, but for the time being, I need to protect my special little princess from such scummy low lives. Hmm. I will need to go through your phone and personally call every single boy that you know to warn them. Warn them not to chase after you. Warn them not to orbit around like it's some kind of game to get my princess into bed for their short-term kicks. Hmm. I'll need to go through your Instagram and block every boy that's following you unless he is a blood relative. So now <clears throat> my princess can feel 100% safe away from all of those terrible, horny boys that just want one thing. And this is not suitable for my little pumpkin. My little girl deserves better than that. I didn't raise her to be a good time girl. I raised her to be a quality woman with standards and self-esteem who understands the long-term nature of the situation. Any man who will enter into a long-term relationship with you must be just like your father. Strong-willed, strong character, someone who deserves respect. Not some flimsy flyboy with a pretty haircut. I think you need to understand what a real man is. Therefore, you must spend most of your time with daddy. The more daddy-daughter time that you experience, and the more you will understand what my little princess deserves from a man, but more importantly, how a man should be. So you can know what to look for when you start to think about settling down. You will learn the qualities that a man should possess. A man that will be right for daddy's little girl. Of course no man can replace me, but you will need to find someone to start a family with one day. Hmm. Okay, Pumpkin. Good chat. You can go back to your room now. 